Heyo, Dookies, Andy Luffy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this has been asked quite a lot. This is closed captions for Twitch, so this is really important if you want to make your stream more accessible for people, maybe that are hard of hearing or anything like that, or just people that want to watch some subtitles because they don't know what you're on about. Let's face it, nobody knows what I'm ever on about, so subtitles definitely help out. So it's super simple to get installed, so let's just run through it, all right? Put your rock over the stone, let's go. So this is super simple to get installed. All we need to do is jump to GitHub and download a cheeky little plugin. So depending on which platform you're using, I'm obviously using Windows right now, so I'm gonna click on Windows and that is gonna start the download automatically. You can use it for Mac or Linux as well. Uh, once you've got that, jump into your downloads folder, you'll see it just here. I'm gonna go inside the closed captions folder and you'll see this OBS-plugins folder. Okay, all you need to do is copy this and we're gonna now go to where your OBS is installed. So mine's in C drive and it could be in program files or program files 86, mine's just program files. Then down to OBS-Studio all lowercase and we're just gonna paste it directly into there. So I already have mine installed, so it's telling me to uh, replace it. This is what you do if you're updating. It's gonna ask for admin privileges and everything like that, but because I've already got mine set up, I'm not gonna do that for now, but make sure you do press next, 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 all that jazz. I'm also gonna leave both of these links down below because there's a lot of great information on this GitHub page around this plugin and how it works. So if you've got any issues or anything like that, there's loads of stuff on here. As you can see, it does not work for Streamlabs or OBS, all right, before you start, asking guys does not work and uh, this tells you how to get it all turned on on your stream and everything like that for for viewers you don't need to do any of this because you're not watching your own stream this is only for people watching it tells you how to activate it on pc ios and android even gives you the installation as well but let's run through that now so once you've got that installed into obs you probably won't see much of a difference you might see a little captions doc that has appeared like so. If you don't see that at all, you can add that in at any time. If you go up to view in the top left and then whoop, and then go to docs and you'll see down there captions. If you're not seeing captions, it means you've not installed it correctly. So maybe go through that installation process once again. I'm gonna dock mine just down here as you can see here. Next, we can jump up to tools and go to cloud closed captions. And in this box, we can turn on captioning if we just turn it on just like so. But right now, it doesn't really know what to do. So we need to set up some settings. So press settings just here. And it will give you a lot of information and tell you kind of what to do. There's a lot of stuff that you can tinker around with in here. But for most of it, you can just leave standard, okay? So the caption source is going to be what? what audio input are we going to use? So I'm going to use my audio input capture, which you can see down here. This is just my microphone, as you can see, going up and down. So that is the one that we're going to select. You can use any audio source you want, but obviously if it's for subtitles for you, you definitely want it on for your microphone. Or if you had a guest, you'd use their Discord microphone or whatever you want for that. That's completely up to you. You can leave this all pretty much as standard. Feel free to tinker around with it, but watch it because certain settings might break on Twitch. Like for instance, since the line set in here is how many lines of text there is it goes a little bit funny if there's four or something like that so they they don't recommend changing many of these settings choose the language that you want so i'm uh, english united kingdom for instance you can change put profanity filter on um it's not always perfect but it does its best you've got capitalization as well if you want it all in caps or lowercase or just normal you've got uh, all sorts of different settings for saving the transcripts as well so that's completely up to you if you want to save that you've got open captions as well we, again all these settings are for you to fiddle about with but as default i like to just leave it all on standard as you can see here so i can just press save now so once you're back at this menu you probably see that it might not work automatically you might have to turn captioning on and off a few times to get it to kind of start working straight out of the bag um like i've had to do here and now it starts working this is just for you to preview if it's going to be working and as you can see it handles the data quite fast so this is exactly what they're going to see on twitch if they press the little cc button or if they're on mobile they can set that up as well and as you can see it runs really well trust me this is really important for, for making streams more accessible because if you are able to reach more and more people then and, and support their needs you're going to increase your viewer base 
space without even thinking. Like, this has required zero effort. It barely uses any CPU usage, and you're just opening yourself to more avenues for people to come and watch your stream. That's pretty much all I need to kind of show you on the plugin. Like I say, you can tinker with some of the settings, but it should just work straight out of the box like that. Like I say, you might have to turn the little caption and enable on and off. I had to do that just a few times to, to make sure that it was was working. But all this information gets sent via the cloud to, um, to Twitch. And then that's how they can turn it on and off as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Put your rock in the stone. Much love to you. See you in the next one. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys, and also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.